know, I'll ask you a few questions here. Um, if you, particularly those who study, uh, who are paleophiles like myself. If you were um, to name me one type of saber-toothed cat, um, what species would you know? And not saber-toothed tiger, but you know, the actual name, you know, scientific name. Okay. Smilodon? Okay, yes, we all know Smilodon. That's a classic right there. Um, what other kinds out there do you know of? Um, how about uh, Barbarophilus? Anyone? I think I see someone there. Um, Nimrovids? Okay, you, not much? Okay, it's, they're kind of related, but they're not actually cats or false cats. Um, what about Gorgon Gorgonopsians? Oh, okay, I kind of, okay, a couple of you already know because those aren't actual cats at all. But they all have one thing in common. These are predatory animals with large canine teeth. Now, normally we think of um, we think um, the saber tooth as we think of, of um, with the large canines. We think of the classic Smilodon, but um, there's actually more in that. It's kind of an interesting feature that shows up from time to time, and you can explore all that in Mariko Anton's Saber Tooth. He talks particularly in uh, Saber Tooth Predators, so he's not going to talk about walruses and stuff like that. But he goes over and. Um, it talks about uh, saber tooth in detail, probably the best book you want to find on such a subject. Not just the Smilodon, but all sort of related species. And he even goes as far back to Gorgonopsians themselves. And here's a point, here's the thing. The artwork is covered uh, with the exception of one diagram. Um, in this book, all the artwork is done by Mariko Anton. Every one of them. All the, um, let's see, all the mural pictures, all the skeletal art, you know, reconstructions. He's a paleo artist. Um, he's actually inside the um, book of dinosaur art, um, which which I just did a video. I'll post a link down below. But that's the fun thing about this. He's done a vast amount of research to try to be as accurate as possible to the environment. He does the best Cenozoic art I've ever seen since Charles R. Knight. I am not kidding you. You need to check this book out. I mean. You know stuff like this. He does murals in Spain, you know, for museums in Spain, in Florida, and other places like that. He travels all across the world. He's even got his own YouTube channel, and I'll link that down below about some of the research he does, going to actual places in Africa to observe the wildlife, and that is how he reconstructs a lot of um, how he does um, his paleo art. And um, you know, first chapter he talks about what you know what he's focusing on. He um, even in that, and also talks about what environments that they find such tooth creatures in, they're in. He, and in one chapter, he goes across um, all the species that are known up to this point. And then there's another chapter that talks about the mechanics of their physiology. It's this wonderful piece of, um, of, um, of paleo, paleontology work just from the paleo artist himself. And because when it comes to paleo art, like I talk about in my other two videos about such things, um, the best ones come from those who do extensive research and try to get as accurate as possible and not try to make it just look fearsome and all that. So there you go. Mariko Anton's Sabertooth. Please check it out. It's very good. Thank you.